for that. Thanks so much for joining and giving us that stock. We're going to track it very, very closely. And uh, next time we uh, join in, we'll ask you for an update on that as well. For the time being, though, we need to wrap up on uh, the market action. So let's wind it down. Well, we started the last star at around 19,550. We swung a little bit, 20 points either which direction, but uh, otherwise we're ending pat at that number. What lost out today? Asian Paints was down close to around 3%. Kotak Mahindra Bank was down close to around 2%. Big Boy ITC was down close to around a percent and a half. On the flip side, the Adani Group stocks did quite well. Adani Enterprises, Adani Ports. You had Indescent Bank that was outperformed from the banking pack and Titan as well that was up a percent. What else? Well, on the mid-cap end of trade, lots of movers. So Pidi Light slipped close to about 3.5%. The top line was slightly lower than what the street was anticipating. Page Industries came out with their numbers in the last one hour. The stock closes with a gain of 3%. Here, the street is focusing on the quarter-on-quarter -quarter improvement in uh, the performance. On revenues, volumes are up 31%. Margins, too, have picked up quite smartly. Other big gainers, it's got to be Z Entertainment. That's the big star in today's trade, closing up with a gain of about 16% after NCLT gives its approval for its merger with Sony. So Z Entertainment rallies on very large volumes. Other notable movers, Varick Engineering, Force Motors, Max Financial, Suzlon. Strong demand for its QIP and on the losing side, Bata, Granule, Suntech, BSC. Uh, these stocks took a bit of a knock on the back of numbers. Yeah, absolutely. Z is a big star in the mid-cap market action, really towering ahead with that 16% gain. Uh, 3M India had good numbers, 5% up on that stock. Max Financial, of course, uh, cheering the additional uh, equity stake pickup by Axis Bank along with the numbers as well, which looked okay. Uh, so all in all, not a bad session. The mid-cap index is ending absolutely flat, far better than the Nifty and the Bank Nifty. But even for these indices, from the lows of the session, Bank Nifty was, you know, hurtling close to 44,400. From that level, at least, there was some recovery. Uh, and for the Nifty as well, along with some recovery in the banks, you had uh, Reliance, which was doing some heavy lifting and a little bit of buying in uh, the Adani stocks also had matters. But uh, all in all, we're ending with an 80 point, 80 point cut on the Nifty. The index uh, going home at 19,551. Well, that is this action packed Thursday. Thank you very much for being with us on Closing Bell. It's a wrap from this entire team, but don't go anywhere because our Thursday special big deal comes up next.